Hello everyone. How are y'all doing today? It's Lumen. We've got an arena game against BG Freak, the game 666, and KNEPS. BG Freak currently rated 549, the game rated 526, also not top 100, which is kind of wild. And KNEPS rated 273 on 167 games, not a new account. Um, yeah, so two very good players, and I'm seated behind, you know, an experienced player who isn't as high rated. So, uh, add on to that that I'm in the second seat, which is my favorite out of the four, and, uh, also add on some okay cards here. Swing Plow with a lot of crop support, specifically veggies. Um... Not that this is guaranteed to do much, but, you know, th this is good. This is a good place to start. The miners are very strong in this uh, pack. Sleeping Corner, Lumber Mill, Butter Churn, Reed Pond, one of them wheels. That's pretty cool. The Ock Wheeling, Patron, Sheepwalker, Fellow Grazer, I would expect to be gone. So, Clay Puncher, Clay Plasterer, Bohemian, these are all, like, barely reasonable. Hello, Schmog, Axion, Laser Trip, Jackie, you, Kung Ming, Adiamont, Merrick, Silver, everyone else lurking out there. Hope you are all doing well today. Hmm. Uh, okay, so Family Friendly Home has the highest ceiling here, along with Pellet Press, in my opinion. I think the ceiling of Pellet Press is pretty great in terms of the miners. Milk Jug's very solid. Beer Stein can be rarely great. Christianity and Grange, I mean, nothing wrong with those either. Can, the miners continue to be great in this game. Uh, the Auk is a bit of a question. I will remember Freemason, but won't count on anything from it. Master Bricklayer or Thresher? From the previous pack, I was pretty set on three-rooming, but Master Bricklayer and Freemason both say don't build three rooms. Family Friendly Home also doesn't say build three rooms. Pellet Press says you can take Reed and turn it into food. This is a very reasonable Grange situation, but I think I'm going to try to wheel it. And I could just take Thresher, but I don't think I need to. Tree cutter is safe, but not very good. Mm, uh, not a huge fan of these picks. Because they don't synergize. But you know, that's okay. Your draft picks, you don't always play 14 cards. Trying to play 14 cards. Um, I think that's a thing people draft for too often is to play all 14 cards. Um, grocer and two meh, like Grocer, Bohemian, and a third occupation is enough to turn on Swing Plow. That's all I really need to have a good game already. Clearly Portmonger, yeah. Hello, Heroic Logic. Wow.
Just wow. I think it needs to be storeroom. I'm glad, well, I'm getting seven, like, I'm getting at least six good minor improvements this game, and Family Friendly Home is more likely than not blank here. Um, yeah, this draft has some cards, Schmug. That is true. Hello, L Scout. Yeah, I don't know when one and two here from either of the sides of that pack. I'm starting to dream of things I really shouldn't dream about because there's definitely a way I try to do too much here now and not necessarily try to make Master Bricklayer work but try to make Family Friendly Home work. Five rooms, four small pastures with stables, six fields. If I did take Grange I no, I still can't take Stockman over Lord. I mean, Swingplow Grocer is automatic, like, three or four point Lord right there. Fellow Grazer is, like, laughably bad here. Does this work? If I had more animals in my draft, I'd consider Cattle Farm. Uh, I didn't mean to take Bohemian. I meant to take Play Puncher. Uh, yeah. I have Clay Room Dreams. I think there was a Clay Plasterer in this pack? Maybe? Two bricklayers can't be beaten. Yeah, needs the apprentice bricklayer. <laughs> well, I didn't find extra grain support because I didn't take Thresher out of this pack the first time, so it's just pellet press here. Yeah. I have crops, but I don't necessarily want them to become food too fast, so I think this goes Clay Puncher, Bricklayer, Grocer. Play all the stuff. Only stay on three rooms is fine. Yeah, this is all fine. Do I dare Freemason? No. And then we're going to get two of the best seventh picks I've had in a long time here. I just don't know what they're going to be. Fishing combo in this game? Yeah, I mean, there's usually a fishing combo in every game.
At least that's how I see it. Um... I could still build clay rooms here, but there's going to be a point where I have to decide between pellet pressing and more rooms, I think. I'm probably not able to do both. My ceiling is crazy. But it's very unlikely to hit. Uh, food chest with lumber mill seems fine. On the other hand, stone clearing with swing plow also looks good. And I have this storeroom. Alright. Um... Someone took Stockman, unfortunately. And Grange. Didn't get either of those back. Nobody took Pellet Press, which is a little surprising. Sheep Round 1. Furnisher. That's, uh... Wow. Um... I guess it's good I cut Master Bricklayer. Whichever direction I'm going this game, I think Reedstone a couple times in stage one looks good. First sheep was not really on my radar as a feeding plan this game. I think Papermaker is making the team. I do think I can play six ox here. Seven if I get big house. Unless I have a brewery. Well, yeah. Yeah, brewery pond is a one card fish enabler. Hello, Sam44. Hello, Sivir. I'm insulted, Sam. You think I'm going to end with 44 in a draft I could easily hit 64? Not easily. Um. Okay, Nap's going for two clay with sheep round one. Furnisher making that even more reasonable than usual. Thresher from the game. Uh, there was a straw thatched roof. There was a straw thatched roof. An example of me saying card out loud reminding me of something in draft. Um, an example of why... I like my chat to, to not say things I haven't brought up. BG Freak, three wooding into a butter churn, okay. And the game is plowing and buying a grain, not surprising at all. I'm on Reedstone or Freeock Clay Puncher here. And if I got neither, uh, two reed is okay. Three wood's fine. Do I get reed stone again? No! Patron can get another rock. Surely Patron's just thinking about what other rock they want. No? How do you start into Patron, get expensive rock second move, and not rock? Because you need to play the bookcase. Hello, we're, we're rated 500. Aren't we better than this?
Aren't we better than throwing away our room parts in stage one to minor improvements? Maybe not. <laughs> nope, we are not. Well, unless carrots. Look, if it's carrots, I was screwed this whole time. Because there was also a sheep walker and early sheep. Like, there, there's some things I can't control. Uh, expensive Ock, the seventh move of round two. Thresher gonna thresh. I usually don't like Carpenter, but that's not a bad Carpenter. I can't believe BG Freak started a bookcase. Bad for them and me. Unfortunate. I can't say for sure it's bad for them. It might not be bad for them. I did only leave myself with two wood here, whereas if I played Clay Puncher, I'd be able to... take two plus one clay. We did not pass the bookcase for Swing Plow. We passed it for... Storeroom. You missed uh, a pretty crazy draft, Rainier. Packs 1 and 3 were bonkers. Like, pack 3, I passed Animal Teacher Fodder Chamber. And for some reason, Animal Teacher isn't getting played. People hating on Animal Teacher. This round opens for Clay, not surprising, with the bookcase and such. Uh, the game... Starts onto three wood, but might switch to reed stone to grab an oven. If you're gonna plow, take three food or something first. Because you can't thresh right now. Like, the game clearly has straw thatched roof and is playing for it. I'm kind of confused about this order of operations, though. And Kneps does lock in the first fireplace. Meaning I get to choose Reedstone or Free Ock here. My Ox are not necessarily rushed that much. The biggest thing is Pellet Press, but honestly, that's okay. Expecting BG Freak to awk, but might take wood. The game can't awk. It is foreign aid, okay. Still, like, why not foreign aid first? I guess it's not that big of a deal. Um. Kneps I would expect to take three wood, but could take a reed or ock. Well, L Scout, that's definitely true. Doesn't need four grains, but I think plow was pretty easily wheelable. That's the th objection I had to it. On the other hand, if you want to sneak in your foreign aid, that makes some sense too. Well, that's two big houses declared. Just kind of concerning. Um, given I kind of wanted to do that, but it's fine. I'm going to take a risk here and say that... I'm still going to have first room by sequencing my ox better. I could have played grocer, I could have taken two wood. Those would guarantee first room. But the game is just going to 
so and re up start. Basically, what I'm hoping for is that KNEPS doesn't have um, food miner. Because Reedstone seems pretty obvious for them here. I do want to play Lumber Mill, I do want to play Pellet Press. I am going to be taking a wood action. Kneps taking the sheep right now. Love this for me. I will build second action. I will start player or grow, followed by Ock next round. Bottom feeding getting pretty big here. Um, whoa, okay, that is good. But also... Kills your room parts. I mean, yeah, timing on beer table is annoying. I guess in the abstract, I under like, I guess I can't say nothing. Uh, anything in the game's line is bad. Their their fourth seat tax really uh, kind of forcing them into pretty specific sequencing here. Uh, the only disagreement I have, I think, with their move is plowing before start player, but given they have a beer table and straw thatched roof, I guess it does make more sense to guarantee that plow. Uh, but, wow. Oh yeah, joinery I guess would have worked for KNEPs in some sense. Actually, yeah, it, it basically would have worked. But, uh, joinery this early is kind of crazy. I think. Alright, um... No police here. The game is just getting six wood. Like, I could go for a double build, but it really doesn't get me much. I could go for clay rooms, but either way, I can still take this room. server lagging a bit. You think you'd have denied teal to read in red's position? Furnisher can take reed stones. I mean, you kind of want to defend the well pretty badly. They don't know for sure if I have lumber mill or not. BG Freak is awking as their food move makes a ton of sense, and an animal teacher is played after patron. Okay. BG Freak is getting a million things on their ox. They'll have a hearth. BG Freak's food is amazing. And I did pass them animal teacher with fodder chamber. Though the amount of grain in this draft was pretty low. Unless they came in with a first pick big grain card, I don't think they have enough grain to really run a great fodder chamber. Um, now with Beer Table, it's very possible BG Freak didn't need a food move, um, so taking three wood could have maybe done something, but I think continuing to set up your game while not taking that risk makes enough sense too. Always sad to let someone get wood like this, but... Hello, Zazak. It's, uh, it's gonna be a little wild. I don't know if I can turn down six clay second action. Also, should I just run family friendly home? When two other 
at least one other person probably has a big house. My game can be so bonkers on family friendly home big house here. But I also have miners that I'm happy to play and just have good food. This is this is a tough decision. Regardless of what KNEPS does, I have to decide right now, because the game is going to come in with start player. That means the next build action I get is round 8, at best. The game's game looks kinda sick. Yeah, I mean, the only bad part about their game is that they need three miners played by round six. And they don't get major or minor here. still want everything. Classic Hello Gonzo, thanks so much for the tier one in the five months. We will see how classic it is. Uh, cause Zach, I'd rather not open the queue. And uh, I don't think the family friendly rooms come in early enough to matter. My line is so solid with Grocer, Lord, Storeroom, Pellet Press, Stay on Three Rooms. Um. BG Freak doesn't really have reason to take five food. The game does. Um, I am kind of uh, risking the five food. Because uh, I kind of need six at this point. But whatever. Tree cutter. I mean, the only way I'm distinguishing whose game looks scariest is based on ELO, honestly.
if you flip the elos of players around, I'm, like, reasonably scared of anyone. Yeah, I don't think the family-friendly home line looked good enough. Alright, as much as I'd love to take six clay, this is a travel if I can. And Knep's traveling would be somewhat surprising. It's not like six food is a bad move, because it's definitely not. Uh, it feels like six clay or two read helps them a lot more, but we'll see what they do. Purple's game looks decent, minus the grow nonchalance. They did force out Thresher's Draw Thatched Roof because they had a beer table and they were fourth seat, meaning that their early food and sequencing sucked. But they have come in with six wood, five clay last round. Have guaranteed themselves that they're not building fifth. Alright, Kneps has an action that they might not have expected to have. I mean, yeah, I still think six clay, two reed. You could even say three wood is more than fine for them. If nobody takes forest, then I get six next round, which would be pretty dope. And uh, I think at this point I can pellet away. I'm not closing down the bigger house lines here. Two stone for the game, not reed stone. The reed admittedly does nothing. So, yeah, sure. I mean, there was also a Freemason in the game, um, which is not rewarded with the late Reno and no Reno helpers. Three Reed is 12 food, so I'm kind of obligated to take that. Um, the game not forced to build a room, so builds Clay Oven first. That's definitely good sequencing by them. If I was paying closer attention to their situation, I probably could have figured that one out. I think 12 points is the wrong way to look at it, L-Scout. Beer table's pretty easy 6 or 8. Well, pr relatively doable 6. Pretty easy 4. A bit of a stretch for 8. Um, but the timing, like, the stuff you give up by playing beer table early is, is not insignificant. Kneps, I think, needs to take the three read here, but I'm hoping they do something... Oh, uh, no, sorry, they do need to grow. They do need to grow. I, yeah, I lost track of stuff. If they didn't need to grow, they would need to take three read, but I'm getting the read. Okay, great. Can I get the world? I would like the world, please. Well, that's the thing I was seeing very early on in East Spade, is that we have a straw-thatched roof and Furnisher Carpenter right ahead of me. Like, am I realistically getting a lot of rooms here and when? It didn't really make sense. Uh, admittedly, getting the world would include the game not building a room for some strange reason.
Sam, your apologies. This is a 60. Thank you for admitting to your mistakes. Okay, reality check, do I need paper maker? That three read move really makes things a lot better here. Okay. Okay, we can play like that. If you have Thresher before Field Watch, when you're supposed to build Clay Oven before so, ideally, yes. Uh, I think their foreign aid substitution, while also trying to squeeze in Straw Thatched Roof and Beer Table, I think makes plenty of sense. It's not a carrot museum, which is pretty good news. I guess we could have figured that out earlier. Um, the game not starting signals that they're okay stable blocking. I'm not completely convinced that's the case. Um, I am looking at clay rooms now. Um, I think getting the reed grab really messes with the table's ability to build more rooms soon. Oh, wait, what am I talking about? What am I talking about? What am I talking about stable blocking? Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Um, right. Right. You see, chat, sometimes I'm just slow on the uptake, but I do figure it out still. I 
I'm deciding between <clears throat> a couple different options here. Because I can take two stone and run it with the well. And I'm trying to decide if getting swing plow started is better. That is more in line with a lord kind of thing, but I'm going to get the reno done here, I think. Stone discounter is my hidden stone on grocer. And I'll have four food seated next round. Which does leave me one short, but that's not a huge deal. Lumber mill and well. That's pretty good. Also, if I delay the swing plow and don't go for max grain, just go for max veggies, fields, pastures then I can maybe squeeze in a stone clearing also. Server is not doing hot right now. You had some server issues in an ARC game that didn't finish. That's too bad. I will um, heavily consider start swing plow here, but yeah, I mean it gets me clay. What do I want next round? Clay, food. Plow? I mean, that seems pretty good. My wood is a little slow here. But lumber mill is still good. Feels like a very principled game for me. Thank you, Sivir. Yeah, Reedstone and Fishing. Are my food options, my better food options. BG Freak has not been super fast to fence here, though Animal Teacher will help them catch up pretty quick on that. The game is growing before they need to in order to play shifting cultivation. I mean, instead of swing plowing, it's looking like I should build. 
gets me a Groud in 10, unless BG Freak starts. The game is hungry. Honestly, I don't need a food, because there's a beer table coming in. This game is straight from the book of Don't Get Fancy, Just Do Good Stuff in the Right Order. Sure is. Pellet Loki doing a lot of work. Nice pick knowing Straw Thatched Roof in the game. Uh, I think I forgot about Straw Thatched when I picked Pellet Press. It just does so much sometimes. Maybe I didn't forget. Honestly, I don't remember anymore. <laughs> uh, but I had a grocer and I wasn't committed to Big House. And taking Reed out of the game, throwing it to food while other people are trying to Big House, that that's pretty good. A wild departure from my usual do bonkers things all the time game plans. Look, Gonzo, I did a stone donut the other week. <laughs> Alright, while no one else can build, I'm just kidding. Wow. Uh How get compensation? Hmm. <laughs> Could just take traveling. And what am I growing with? Yeah, I think I do want to grow fifth. Um, so I can build and start, or I can travel and build. And I don't really see better options here. Which also kills off a pellet press round, which is pretty unfortunate. Oh, no, it doesn't, if we get beer table. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is the line. You think you've said it before, but one thing you see sets me apart and other expert players is being comfortable in dumping drafted cards based on what I'm given and how the game is unfolding. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um... You're an expert because you dump 85% of the cards you draft. Ayo. BG Freak looks like they're gonna take animals in some form with their next move, which seems fine. If they're fencing now. Uh, it may have been a self-burn, Merrick. but I will not speak for Gonzo. What the actual intent was. Uh, the game sewing and baking, not surprising. We'll see if they notice if they uh, beer table they give me a pellet. What I wrote in chat I didn't write anything in chat. Oh, 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 I did write something in game chat, not Twitch chat. 
Uh, Knep said, uh, after I took traveling, yeah, it was a little too obvious, huh? And what I said is, it, traveling was not my favorite move, but it indeed was a forced move. Um. I mean, one of the two forced options. If I want to grow next round. No, it was not trash talk. It was regular discussion. My game does look pretty amazing here. I'll be first to four people. My swing plow's already played. I have five rounds to hit it twice. I'm pelleting forever. Yeah, no, this looks very good. General trash talk on the traveling player's action space. Yes. I did slightly diss the traveling player's action space. <laughs> when it's at three. Kneps starting here. <laughs> Sam with the actual uh, trash talk request. <laughs> Sent. <laughs> Though you can tell it wasn't me if you if you really look closely, because. Americans would never put two L's in traveling. They did get a response, though. Alright, hoping for a beer table food, which is pellet for us. More apt if I wrote it right after feeding. Sam should have submitted the trash talk request later. That's not on me. I was looking at my food being 4321 and I was like, wait, did I already pellet? But no, that's the well food. Can't wait to have five foods seated next round. Um, Knep's took back start player, by the way, to Reno and passes a baseboards! Ooh, baby baseboards! Yes! I am a fan. That solves like my one issue. <laughs> uh, did I say if I have plans for the lef leftover clay? I did not. Um, it's possibly a hearth. It's possibly a fifth room. I don't really care at this point. We did get beard. Beer apostrophe D. Nice little five, four, three, two on future round spaces. Kneps opens maybe for wood. I will of course grow and uh, probably just send around that baseboards. I don't have the stone for storeroom. Family friendly homes definitely no. Second action I could get plow. 
Knaps is already at four fields considering chain float. Three reed would be great. Three wood's definitely good too. I mean, three wood, three reed, plow. I'm getting one of those back. Guess I'll go for reed stone last action, which is fine. I'm gonna have to choose between three wood or plow. For a second, I got scared that the game has field fences, given their lack of wood and field arrangement. But that is not the case, as I did not see beer table or foreign aid this draft. Kneps is fencing with animals at 2-1-1. Very reasonable, indeed. They uh, seem to ditch the house artist given that they renoed, but maybe they're sensing that there's enough play in the game, which could be very true. Um, gotta plow. I don't care that the pressure is not super high. It is high enough. I mean, BG Freak wants it. That's enough pressure. That's a good first pick. Okay, so we got triple early animals in a fodder chamber game. Really hoping BG Freak has fodder chamber and just doesn't have the grain to play it. That would be ideal here. The game taking stone oven parts, very sensible. Gosh, nobody taking wood yet. Okay, how much do I need five food and a stone? Uh, honestly, kind of badly. I think the honest answer is I kind of badly need that reed stone move. Reed pawn does come out. That was in this game. I remembered that in the draft, but have forgotten about it since until now. Gonzo, you think a fun challenge for me to try sometime would be a worst card draft? And when you say fun, you mean fun for chat? Uh, that was, uh, that was one of the options in the biggest country era. Exactly, Merrick. No, I think that is something I literally had written down on my options to do with biggest country. But that was, that was a day and age where we were still limited to base set plus the CD cards, and I was getting a little tired of it. And when I say a little, I mean... Um, yeah, I, I don't really need that these days. What happened to Biggest Country? I stopped paying premium for a second account. <laughs> this, the account still exists. I used it for uh, MSO tournaments. BG Freak going Ock here instead of 3 Wood. They do need to keep playing their Ox because they're getting a million things. But apparently they also need 3 more Wood? Okay. And a bit of policing. 
The game is so baking here. I don't like this move. I think this should be Stone Oven on either Reno or Major. Yeah, that just seems wrong. Anyway, uh, I don't mind other people doing things I perceive to be wrong. Knep's maybe opening two cows here, giving me four wood. Thanks. I mean, Knaps' fences are going to get uh, filled up here. There are just a lot of animals in this game. What is wrong about that? So, the oven didn't feel contested? They had zero food, so they couldn't use Thresher to buy a grain. Also, they're still not fed for this harvest. Stone Oven fixes both those issues. They'll be able to max grain without sowing here. I'm trying to decide if I ever get pigs if I fence here. Otherwise, I don't need to fence yet. Not really sure what I would do instead. So, I'll do this not necessarily expecting to get any pigs for it. Sewing is a fine last move, but I'm not convinced I need more than a sew. I guess the second sew gives me veggie food. Yeah, it's probably worth it. Alright, I'll sew last move. Explain to you the aesthetic reasoning that was the right fence spot. Um, no, it's not. That's the wrong spot. Fences should be up here for aesthetic reasons. Farm looks cooler there. But um, logically, it's this or this as the two spots. And this is just, like, mentally cleaner to me. So I uh, admittedly... I, I have failed the other aesthetic enjoyers of the chat as I did not consider aesthetics for my uh, fence placement there. I'm legally obliged to do two vertical lines with swing plow? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. This is better if I end up with a fifth room? That might be true. No, it was just a silly oversight. Ravenous Hunger getting played in this game seems ridiculous. The game taking six food instead. Um, I would be thinking about jacking the stone oven, except... Uh, I have enough things to spend stone on with storeroom and a reno. 
Master Bricklayer can still do some damage. If I play Master Bricklayer, the joinery costs me one wood. But BMW is pretty trash this game. Um, I am getting the two boar, by the way. That's a big dub. Four people in four playrooms aware. I won't end in four playrooms, Moo. I might not even end with four people. The difference in my average score, four people, four stone rooms, four people, four clay rooms, is crazy. Four people, four clay rooms, my average score is like 39 or something. Four people, four stone rooms, my average is like 53. I can't explain it. There's like a 10 point bonus for... <laughs> like a 10 point bonus that comes out of nowhere for the games I end in stone. Kneps is starting. That's pretty reasonable for anyone in round 11. Though, they probably don't want Plowso very much. Um, no, Gonzo, it's a 14-point it's a average difference is my slightly hyperbolic claim, and the round is worth four. No, I really mean it's a 10-point bonus. Two wood is... Uh, not an amazing action, yeah. Kneps' game has uh, probably not gone the way they wanted it to. No, I, I, I mean, there's an answer in there somewhere, Merrick, but I don't feel motivated to find it. It's because I never bother to go to stone unless the game is going... Yeah, that's probably more accurate description... Alright, I get a so here, which is amazing. Um, yeah, it also means that Pellet Press has probably concluded its work here. Unless I end up with two read next round instead of read stone. Um... Reed Stone at some point in the next three rounds, which doesn't seem that likely. Uh, the clay to buy a hearth seems very easy and good. I'm going last, but I don't really care because I'm getting, like, plow or something. Uh, it does look like I'm fed for the next harvest. It's the stage six harvest where I really need to worry about feeding. Um... Stone clearing, party organizer, possibly beating rod might all be getting played from my hand. Beating rod's a good reason to take two reed. Uh, or two reed stones. And not pellet. Yeah, beating rod seems very useful here. Though, maybe not. Like, the, the game might be... Not the game, the game, but the economy of the of uh, of this Agricola game might get me two cows. I mean, I might just take uh, cows might just be taken one at a time with milk jug. So milk jug would be the thing that prevents me from getting two cows most here, possibly. That and BG Freak might not want to buy them on Animal Teacher? I don't really know. Uh, it is Urgent Wish. Kneps uh, didn't take the risk. Didn't get the reward. Unfortunate for them. BG Freak did get the reward by risking. They do have room parts, but I guess those will be uh, stables now? Do they have Stockman? Does the game have Stockman? Play Plasterer. So they can build two more rooms and reno. So what are we dreaming of? Three different people feeding me, yes. 
I mean, we've gotten everyone feeding me, technically, if you want to count Christianity. We are definitely taking our plow here. Beaky Freak apparently doesn't have stock, man. I'm just gonna fence four. Cow read start. Cow read. Cow read stone. You gotta bake all of it. You can't you can't build the stone oven and not bake a zillion. The best part of the stone oven is that you get to bake a zillion. <laughs> Uh, there's also that hearth that I could and or should build. Okay, what is left to do here? Start player stone clearing for cultivation looks fun. Yeah, the double oven bake 13 is, uh, is a staple of most good baking games because you usually don't have, well, I, I guess there's a lot of conditional probability, so I should maybe not say that. Um, when you don't have bake helpers, the bake 13 is hugely important. Alright, I didn't count the stone oven clay, which meant that the game doesn't have parts for two rooms, and they're building two stables here, and Kneps is starting. I just go Reedstone and Hearth. The Reno Qs don't look good. Big field. Sorry, I missed announcing big field. Last round. Four wood for two stables, not super interesting. Whoa, Kneps is taking cultivation here. That's where the Grange is. Wow, well, for a sec I thought I was getting that. Um... 
three stone is the right number. Two sheep is a good number. If I let BG Freak take cultivation, they almost certainly will. The game gets pigs. KNEPs can fence or start. All right, let's uh, let's take care of this potential Reno disaster. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I get a so next round regardless, because the game is basically fed. Kneps needs one so, BG Freak now doesn't need a so. Uh, I guess the game could use a so. Veggie is not what I expected over there. Oh, Ravenous Hunger. For a wood. You keep thinking I'm talking about the game of Agricola generally. Yeah, I know, it's, uh, it's a little cumbersome to try to remember, to clarify. Knaps is gonna awk. It's a little surprising. Ooh, nice, nice. Okay. If I start, do I get Reno back? I'm just gonna say start is very worth it. I don't need to play the beating rod. My resources aren't lining up for it very nicely. Can't understand purple stables after seeing this move. I kind of agree. But, very possible I forgot something. I mean, they do have breeding space. Not that they're ever eating the animals, so it's like... Maybe a point of... Extra animals at the huge expense of fence tempo. Though you could also argue that fence tempo is rather meaningless in this game. I do get Reno back. But I'd kind of rather Reno storeroom, so I might take sheep first, except who needs the sheep? Sheepwalker could always use the sheep, actually. Uh, Kneps can Reno right now. No, I just need to Reno. Then, do I play anything? Also, does it mean I messed up on, uh, building hearth? It does. I threw away a move. Oh, well. 
Don't get why I took three stone with my first move, because the Reno Q is garbage. The Reno Q is ugly and disgusting and gets even worse if the game gets three stone. Maybe I'm missing a tactic that you're trying to suggest implicitly, but whatever. Playing it just cuz. You agree with me, Gonzo? The game taking parts for two more rooms. And I do get the sheep back. Fish for BG Freak? Oh, fish, fish grain. All right, I'm very happy that my decision to not pick fodder chamber is being very much rewarded here. Um, okay, so then. A very silly aesthetical conundrum that I have created by fencing where I did and sowing where I did is where do I sow my two grain and four veggies? Looks easy win. I think this is a pretty straightforward win here, yes. Positive on, thanks for the follow. Cultivation for three points here. Lord of the Manor for three. Then a grain is a two point move. I think it's top three grain square of veg, but it could be grain here and here and veg border to match the stone house. I think I might actually go with that one. Uh, it wasn't quite three stone. I. I was also thinking I might be able to get a guild, which I guess is still true. My my organization is rough either way. Okay, maybe I'm overfed. Also, I have uh, Urgent Wish as a three-point action that might come back. But yeah, I have... Is Urgent Wish even one of my best four actions here? <laughs> I'll figure that out as we go. Big field? You do veg to do some crazy crap. All right, I'm gonna mirror the stone house with my veg. Uh, storeroom, lord, and grain's fine. I'm only breeding one point. C1, D2, E3, D3. 
Yeah. This one really ruins it. Okay, I'm not that far ahead of the game. Nobody needs a grain. What is my last move? Grain for two points? If BG Freak takes Reno Major, then I don't have to worry about blocking four stone. But the game does have a six point fence action, two on beer table. Uh, I have enough points here to not care. BG Freak says, I will take both Renos. Or I will take a joinery with a Reno. Or something like that. Also, uh, KNEPS has Sheepwalker to get in the way of Renos. Though, uh, actually doesn't have enough sheep right now. Slightly awkward. Uh, the game's building two rooms in a stable. Or something like that. Yep. Yeah, I guess Renoing was never their best move. Uh, now they have a four point fence action. Two point wood move. I still have my lord. Which I am just playing right now. Um, obviously I'm overfed. I have 12 extra veggie food and like six extra boar food here. So that's fun. And I am headed to, like, mid to high 50s with a uh, four people, four stone room game. Field fences? Oh, no, we've, we've, uh, we've known they don't have field fences because I didn't see four and eight or beer table. Extra veggie equals extra point. That's why my storeroom was so many points. I forgot. I was like, why is my storeroom so big? I, this whole time, I forgot that sewing my fifth and seventh veggie was extra storeroom points. My game just fell this way. I, I forgot that. Uh, which does mean I'm eating pigs. I would have realized it pretty sure when uh, my points changed, but... Yeah, forgive me for forgetting the combos of getting ridiculous storeroom points. Thanks, Silver.
Thanks, Rainier. Love how single grain is a three-point action. Isn't it a two-point action? I already have the storeroom point from having seven grain and eight veggies. My grain's the limiting factor on storeroom right now. Amazing. It is going to be the joinery for BG Freak. Empty field top right. It's uh, it's not the best, but... The game taking a cow. If they get fence sheep... 51, 53... 55. Eat a point down to 54. Good thing I have 54 covered. Um, but yeah, nicely done by the game to, to pump out a ton of points here. Very principled three-room farming game with great food rather than falling into a growth trap. Yeah, uh... Very important that I counted the um, the grow situation because if I didn't count where I'd be building rooms, I might be tempted to actually use family-friendly home. Then my fourth room comes in round eight or something, and I finally get my third person in round nine. I mean, this is, I mean, we did hit the upside of growing six rather than seven here, but uh, I did have enough miners to play. Thanks, Greek Chick. Enough miners to play in the growth queue. Shifting cultivation for KNEPs there. All right, so we eat two pigs, or one. No, I know my final animal rearrangement. Cow here, two sheep here, pigs here and here. Missed the option where I could likely start family friendly in five. Take two wood. I did miss that option. That's what Zazak thought I was doing. Okay. Well, that does explain Zazak's comment. Um, yeah, also not using family-friendly closes the queue more, and I did mention that, but... Um, the fact that I missed an option at all is not great. Would I have chosen it if I saw it? Probably not, because Bricklayer Clay Room still looks better. Um... Hey, Spivey, thanks for the GG. Hard to predict where you get uncontested fence? Yes, it is hard to predict. Uh, all the animals coming out early with an animal teacher, I think, did make animals too good for most of us to take early, meaning we had to fence earlier, and then all the results of that. You would do that if growth in seven? If in six, no? Well then, throwing an action to start family friendly home on a 50-50, is that what the suggestion is? What looks better is having the pellet press food earlier. That also is a big part of not building family friendly home. I wound up playing it either way. This, I mean, can we talk about timing a little here? 
I think timing is, like, incredibly important on these two. The only thing I had to feed Pellet Press was someone having Straw Thatched Roof and getting a 3 read action by growing first. Yeah, I, I don't regret not going for Family Friendly Home in the slightest. I guess I had the grocer also, but I did basically build a fourth room with those grocer re timing. I did manipulate the timing nicely for that, but... Okay, very solid game with very solid cards here. Um, Four-point storeroom, four-point lord, always really cool. Straw thatch makes sense. Family friendly home feels worse than the other grow enablers to you. I'm not a huge fan of it either, uh, but I do respect its power and that I don't know how to use it best sometimes. Yeah, thanks, Heroic Logic. This this was a good one. Maybe uh Maybe not quite as many anim animals as you prefer, Heroic Logic, but I hope I can make up for it somewhat with having eight of each crop. Your top ten? Oh, did I kick you out of top ten, L-Scout? Sorry. As long as you know that I'm going to end up in one of these top ten spaces by the end of the season, you know. The Zack approved feeding for the most part? Yes. Didn't use the hearth until harvest six and I needed it for one pig. Um, if I don't have disaster food, the family-friendly line is game-breaking. Okay, well, if you don't have disaster food by doing it is um, one of the biggest ifs, obviously. Yeah, two of the first three grows is great. Having disaster food? That's, that's the 44 that Sam was predicting. I could have hit 57. Food all... Okay. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever, people. Chat is getting too wild here. Um, you want to see the draft a spade? Yeah. I think I also want to see the draft. Um, people definitely had high quality cards, so... I'm not expecting to see any bad draft picks, but we are interested in seeing what the draft even had. Dang. Field caretaker beer table. I'm not sure I can disagree with that. And yeah, and you wheel straw thatched roof. Yeah. I mean, you have, like, so many possible combos in this pack. Animal teacher fodder chamber, lord with storeroom fodder chamber, chain float bookcase. Um, with the stockman on the wheel, like... This is crazy. Um, you can't really make a bad pick here. Well, you can. I mean, House Artist Straw Thatched would be a pretty rough choice. Um, how did I get Lord Third from this? That is an interesting question for sure. Uh, I think Kneps taking the House Artist is... Uh, probably wrong, and that is something I probably just benefited from sitting behind the lowest rated player. There's nothing wrong with House Artist and Chain Float. They're both very strong cards, but yeah. 
This pack is just nuts. I don't see how I would take House Artist Chain Float until, like, fourth in this pack, but... Uh, I think passing Lord twice is reasonable. I probably wouldn't take Field Caretaker Beer Table with the Beer Table. I would probably still take Lord. But it is far from a crime. They did have Furnisher first pick. You're right, Ace Spade. Unless it's a third pick. It's not. Um, pet lover baseboards. They throw out baseboards to take foreign aid. They are in fourth seat. Also, they didn't play Pet Lover, even though Sheep flipped one, and they got Ock in the fourth seat. Oh, because they had Thresher. I might have tossed Thresher out the window. The way they played this. But it's not an easy call. Taking four and eight's fine. Shifting Cultivation, I think, would be very wrong. Ah, uh, maybe not very wrong. No, never mind. They don't know about Thresher yet. Uh, compared to Baseboards, I think it's still very wrong. Uh, 4 and 8 is a little insane here, but you have seen Carpenter Bricklayer. Straw Thatched Roof. I mean, Carpenter Bricklayer, Straw Thatched Roof, and here they go for Clay Plasterer. Which doesn't combo with Carpenter. But, uh... That is a dream. Single clay, clay rooms. Lord Nonbos with quite a few first picks. Clay Plasterer over Clay Puncher, I think, is a little silly. Uh, especially because you have Field Caretaker. Fellow Grazer also, I think, is a good pick with Beer Table. You don't have to have five or six fields. Fellow Grazer using the Shepherd's Crook arrangement is just a really w efficient way to fill farm space. I guess four and eight, it doesn't line up that well. But I, I don't see how I would ever take Clay Plasterer here. You can get it on the wheel, probably. Eh, maybe not, but... Ravenous Hunger is insane, though. This is just an insane pick. Pet Lover, Field Caretaker, Beer Table can just ignore sowing grain for a while. That's an interesting idea. Um, I wouldn't ignore sowing it. Field Caretaker gives you a spot to sow. I would try to sow at least two. This is going very hard into Wheeling Straw Thatched? Yeah. I think it is. Um, not taking Beer Stein is a bit odd. If you're taking Thresher. I guess I can get understand the Grange. Straw Thatch does wheel. Fodder Chamber keeps getting passed along. How do you pass Fodder Chamber when you... Okay, okay, we've seen enough... What were you doing, BG Freak? Oh boy. I mean, this wasn't the pick, but... <laughs> yeah, half-timbered or baseboards. I would probably go baseboards. But you see a carpenter and a bricklayer, so sure. Yeah, this draft was just kind of crazy. Also, Cultivator didn't pick Thresher. So 
sleeping corner. I forgot that was in this game. Pretty Nonbo with half timbered. This feels like a reed pond pick to me. I'm not gonna say Patron is wrong, but I think I might like Fellow Grazer more. Yeah, that might work, Siv. But, uh, are you saying it's a 12-point beer table? With Pet Lover Grain? I think that's a little crazy. The crowd not liking Half Timbered very much either. I, I don't really think Half Timbered makes a ton of sense. How do you take anything except Thresher here? You don't want a wood grain plow action? You have a sl like, what? <laughs> Am I missing something? Or should this, this just be the thresheriest thresher of all time? You adore Sheepwalker? I'm a big fan of Sheepwalker too. Alright, this not being Thresher is wild. And then you get immediately punished. Uh, though I guess you took a bookcase. And you're partially punished for being fourth pick in this pack. God pack. But god, if you take if you take Thresher here, you can take fodder chamber animal teacher. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know, Sivir. I don't know. Oh my god. BG Freak uh, got punished for their choices. Crackweeder over Shifting Cultivation? I think there I take Shifting Cultivation. Though I guess Crackweeder's fine. Butter churn, obviously fine. Taking Portmonger over Fellow Grazer here is ridiculous. Elephant over Beerstein. Sure, you don't have any grain. Opponent's draft, weirdly, is also a part of what happened this game. That's a part of what happens every game, Rainier. Happens every game in your games, happens every game in my games. I could throw an elbow right now, but I'm not going to. Um, Portmonger tree cutter combo. Ah, yes. Fish for three plus wood read. Got him. I mean, that's not a bad action, but to play two cards to set that up is not a good action sequence. I mean, I get it's a late pick, so it's probably not happening regardless, but then they did play Tree Cutter, so what do I know? Alright, thanks all for being here today. It's been a fun stream. Had a very solid game here. Um, appreciate, appreciate you all being here to hang out. Thank you for uh, supporting the stream by just being here. Um, along with the subs and such, of course. Um, opponent's draft weirdly is the only reason you won three arena seasons, Kappa. Yep, exactly. Um, I will be back on Thursday with another Agricola stream. Uh, I will announce one more time, even though people keep leaving at the end of the streams. I should do an announcement, uh, mid-game on Thursday. Because I'm either not streaming on Friday or streaming very early. I've got my local game con this weekend. Uh, same for Monday. I'll either be streaming not at all or late. And I will hope to see you either on Thursday or at a future stream. Take care, everyone. Bye.